your Maddox. I'm your biggest fan. For over 20 years, I've run one of the longest running humor sites on the internet. I've published books, worked on TV shows, and even video games. Along the way, I've met thousands of fans. Most of them have been awesome, but some, unfortunately, have become obsessed and tried to get into my personal life. This is the story of what happens when fans become stalkers. While the business model of slander was profitable, Fanboy wasn't just content with doxing me and attacking my sources of income, he actively spread lies about me to try to hurt my reputation as well. In September of 2018, he accused me of being a pedophile lover, which is absolutely slander. And what's worse is that it's all projection. As with almost everything he's accused me of, it's either something he's actively doing or is something he's done. For example, he played a clip titled Maddox Loves Pedophiles and made a lot of similar implications. There's the supercut of Maddox Loves Pedophiles. This is not only false, but it's interesting coming from Fanboy because there was that time he publicly defended this person who pled guilty in a child sex case. The guy claimed he had sex with a 16-year-old girl who used a fake ID. Well, that's weird because even if she did, did she also use a fake body? Or a fake face that doesn't look like she was an adolescent in high school? You might be thinking, well, maybe she looked old for her age. Nope. In fact, detectives said that if anyone were to mistake her age, it would be because she looks younger than 16. Fanboy sided with a child sex offender and blamed the victim despite his admission of guilt. Well, maybe that was just a one-off. But there was that time that Fanboy also said, and I quote, everyone wants to fuck 17-year-olds. I'm not attracted to 16-year-olds. I'm not attracted to 17-year-olds. Not You're not even... attracted to 17-year-olds? No, I'm 34. Onision, oh, are you not attracted to 17-year-olds because the law says you can't be? No, I'm not attracted to 17-year-olds because their brains are rotten. I'm saying just admit it that you want to, that everyone wants to fuck 17-year-olds. No, that, like, not, that's all this guy's not saying. Not everybody wants to fuck 17-year-olds. Look at the if, look. look that's at the why main... there's laws against it. Yes, they do. He was speaking to a guy named Onision who allegedly groomed one of his fans into having sex with him when she eventually turned 18. Fanboy said things during the conversation that made even Onision uncomfortable. That makes no fucking sense. You want to fuck it so there's laws against it? That makes yeah, no that's sense. why murder is illegal too, because everyone wants to do it all day. Now, you might be thinking, maybe he's trolling, right? After all, every time somebody gets called out for having really shitty opinions, they usually hide behind the troll shield to pretend like they were just joking. So, Onision gave him an easy out by asking if Fanboy was trolling, and he wasn't. I don't want to murder all day. Are you trolling? Are you I mean, not really. It? Like, the reason they hate you is because they're fucking jealous. Like, they don't like that you're getting young, hot pussy doing these things that you're able to get away with. So, that, you know, sounds, all, that sounds all kinds of horrible, what you just said. I don't like oh, that. I don't give a fuck. Look, like whatever has it. to happen to get that little girl on no, the stripper pole, no, I no, support. No. All right, look, those are just two examples. Everyone can make a mistake twice, right? But then there was that time that he defended a comedian for making sexual advances towards a 16-year-old. He says, I'm in Tempe, the let's hang. With you? And she says, do you want to meet up tonight? Oh, the predation. Oh, the predation. Now, she knows. is 16, to be fair. Well, But and, he's claiming just, he didn't know she was 16. We have to protect if he, these well, innocent 16-year-olds so yeah, yeah, no, no, from no, the yeah. predation of these fucking comedians. These you got chuckle fuck. These poor 16-year-old whores. Oh my God, what are they going to do if they uh, if they yep. accidentally fuck, see this comedian's cock? Here's the fucking Instagram of this chick. Fucking amazing. Yeah. Is it legal for me to put this on the show? Good God. Look at this. Yeah. All right, look, that's three examples. Who hasn't made a mistake three times? But then there was the time he had an actual pedophile on his show. The following clip is extremely disturbing, and I usually don't list warnings in my videos, so if you don't want to hear it, skip ahead 34 seconds from now. But you are uh -huh. self-professed, uh, what is it, Lollicon fan? Yes. Does that mean I'm... that... What does that mean? It means that I am a huge fan of illustrations of little girls getting fucked. Oh. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, see, that makes it. You see what you when you do that, 
Yeah. It makes it, mo- it makes it very uncomfortable. Of course it does. But, like, I have to fight for that shit harder than anybody because I like that shit. Now, maybe you're thinking you can't quite predict what a caller is going to say ahead of time. So you cut it from the episode and block that caller, right? Well, he didn't. In fact, the caller, a person named Digibro, was invited back on at least eight other times. Except this pedophile wasn't just a guest, he and Digibro have hung out together. In March of 2019, after the call admitting he's a pedophile, Fanboy invited Digibro, someone who has sexual fantasies about children, into his home. They not only spent hours in his home together, but they went out for food and beer afterwards, and Fanboy treated him. I just kind of asked if I could come in. I messaged him just the day before, and he just responded immediately with his home address. He lives in what I would describe as a a very small two-story house. Afterwards, then Dick and I and 80s girl all went out to lunch. Dick bought us some beers. He's the only person who's openly defended my position. And that wasn't even the first time they'd met in person. Fanboy downplays this form of child porn by saying it's just illustrations. But these aren't stick figures, and saying they're just illustrations doesn't acknowledge how realistic illustrations can get. For example, this is not a photograph. It was made by hand. And what's worse is that these illustrations are often made using real reference photos of actual child exploitation. I don't believe there's anything innocent about this. But Fanboy doubled down and even publicly announced that he would masturbate to lolly porn. He even tagged some of his friends like they're his own personal accountability pedos. And if he actually went through with it, it's possible that some of these illustrations were made using real reference photos, which could be a felony. If you're aroused by illustrations of adults having sex, it stands to reason that you'd also be aroused by seeing the real thing. Same goes for children. This person is a pedophile. And then Fanboy invited another guest to his home who claims he had sex with a 13-year-old. When I was 18, I hooked up with a girl who was 13. I'm now 29. So obviously, I don't hook up with 13-year-olds anymore at all. Uh, and I didn't after I got older from that age. But do you think that that's like so outrageously bad? Yes. Statutory rape is specifically defined in some states as having sex with a 13-year-old with harsh penalties when the age difference is five years or older. And when confronted about it, here's what Fanboy said. I just know I have never been a pedophile or a rapist. And you really don't sound like you don't think I did anything wrong. Um, no, I don't really care about the 18 and the 13 thing. I mean, it's not my kid. I don't fucking care. And then there's Fanboy's outspoken defense of the movie Cuties. I could go on and on, but suffice it to say that almost everything he's accused me of doing is either something he's done or is actively doing. It's almost always projection. In fact, just before that clip I played earlier of him saying Maddox loves pedophiles, he literally downplayed having sex with a 17-year-old in the same breath. You can't make this shit up. Plus 17, man. Come on. Yeah. Give me a break. I guess. Give me a break. All right, here, here's Maddox loves... Here's the super cut of... Maddox loves pedophiles. Thankfully, the majority of my fans realized that I haven't talked about the smear campaign in part because it became a legal matter, as you'll see shortly. They gave me the benefit of doubt and abstained from joining these smears and attacks, and to them, I give you my thanks. But some people didn't. They were malicious, vile, and gullible dipshits who joined in on the doxing, smears, and attacks. They judge people they don't know with facts they don't have. They are the worst elements of mob mentality and represent everything I hate about cancel culture. They spread lies, gossip, and rumors without ever fact-checking or even considering that the person they're getting most of their narrative from has a profit motive and is using his friends as pawns in an elaborate revenge scheme. And again, those aren't my words, those are his. What am I? Just a guy using my friends as pawns in some kind of elaborate revenge scheme against an angry Armenian man? Comedian Andrew Schultz talked about the phenomenon of online mobs and cancel culture. He said it best when he said that the internet mob doesn't care about the truth if the lie is more interesting. The internet mob is swift, brutal, and doesn't give a fuck about the truth if the lie is more interesting. I mean, we're at a place where people are guilty until proven innocent. And even if they're vindicated, the apology is always much quieter than the accusation. I don't want to say or do anything to risk falling back into the good graces of this dumb mob of gullible dipshits. I can proudly say that purging these losers and idiots from my fan base is one of the proudest accomplishments of my career. Please help me celebrate this loss with the hashtag MaddoxLoss, because I proudly have. <laughs>